What's up out there? Welcome back to Melver Idol. Uh, beta 1.0 just hit last night. We have a massive set of patch notes. I just recorded like a very long video. I hope this is a very short Cliff Notes version of it, maybe five minutes. So buckle in. We're going to buzz through this as fast as humanly possible. Um, probably glossing over a lot. There's going to be a longer video later on. So this is just the quick version. Uh, if you don't want to watch the long one, uh, first things first, well, I am on my standard account. This was, this is pretty close to being complete. I am one skill away from having my max skill cape. So everything we're looking at is on that account. Otherwise the, you know, all the new content is still locked basically. So in game content part three has been added this. You have to have 99 in all skills and access to all slayer areas to uh, take part in. The event is the final boss of the game. You run through five cycles, and then at the end cycle, you've beaten the game, if you want to call it that. Uh, the big takeaway from this is that it is safe for hardcore characters. Dying will not result in the loss of your character. So, new in-game event. There are some new Slayer areas. If we come in over here, we now have the Unhallowed Wasteland and the Toxic Swamps. Uh, there's some new combat potions that have been added. Uh, many of the potions have been changed or um, adjusted in some way. There's three new craft. There are three new rings in crafting. Uh, the blade ring of blade echoes, barrage, and spirit power. These are what the items you steal up from the th um, in thieving. Uh, those little crafting tokens are used in here. Uh, there's some adjustments to prayer. There's some, been some new prayers added. There's some change in the, the prayer level requirements. There are some combat balance changes with, uh, they've added damage reduction to certain monsters. There are new, um, special attacks for the dark horn deletes and the furious horn deletes. They now have a little attack that they do. There's some different item drops for the, for these various monsters here. Uh, things can, different things can drop in like the forest of goo. Uh, you get, let's see here, the, um, this goo drops, uh, different people, different character, different monsters drop different things now. Uh, there's some other monster changes that are coming in here. They've slight tweaks here and there buffs to some of the combat styles, a bunch of different changes to the equipment. A lot of this revolves around adding damage reduction to the wizard robes, which is a very welcome change. Uh, a bunch of weapon attack changes. Fury of the Elemental Zodiacs has had some slight tweaks. They don't list it here, but it's in the full change log. A bunch of the jewelries had different changes. Um, as I was making my longer video, I don't know if this was that way before, but a lot of these have passive now, which they may have before. I don't recall. But if you complete Into the Mist, you can equip a passive slot. So these rings having that passive, whether it was added here or before, is worth noting if you've completed into the mist that is uh there's some other equipment changes we've come along with um some magic changes slight changes to the combat triangle uh slayer of area effects uh this is a very welcome change in my mind all of these let me close this down here all of the slayer areas now re basically require you to have slayer gear to negate some of the negatives which was never an issue before like a lot of these didn't have any kind of negative at all and now they do so um very welcome change um let's see here new skill in astrology uh at some point i will have a video out about this but for the the basic cliff notes of this whole thing is that there are various constellations each constellation runs different skills and each one of these provides different modifiers that can be re-rolled using these, the Stardust and the Golden Stardust. Uh, you can see what modifiers are active, and they affect pretty much every skill in the game. This is like a freebie skill. Uh, it's very good for, say, adventure, like the very first um, skill you would unlock under adventure, or probably the very first thing you would train in any uh, standard or hardcore, because it benefits everything else. You don't have to buy anything to get into it. It's self-contained. It's really not affected by agility or summoning. There is an herb lore potion for it, but otherwise it's kind of just stands alone, does its own thing and is a complete benefit. So, uh, astrology is very cool. Uh, let's see here. 
Oh, there is now a fourth equipment set here. This, oh, I'm sorry, here, which requires you to have level 99 astrology. Again, another reason to start with that, but it does cost 100 million gold. So you would probably want to fast track, say, thieving or agility after that to get this opened. Uh, there is some new statistics. or The statistics have been revamped quite a bit. Uh, there's been some new things added, so you'll probably see some zeros in things um, because it wasn't tracked before. I believe all of the other stuff that's been tracked uh, is still here. So you may see a mix mash of things that say zero or very low numbers and things that have very high numbers. Uh, um, so changes there, updates to the completion log. Uh, this thing here now has numerous changes, number of quality of life changes, especially on the item side to where you can show, uh, there's different filters here. Uh, there's a new tutorial. The fire making and mining are tick based. So your potions now for, um, um, fire, uh, controlled heat and perfect swing now work offline, which they didn't before. Big change here. The offline time cap has gone from 12 hours to 18 hours. Uh, big quality of life changes in farming. Uh, you have your normal buttons, but you also have the option to choose individual um, seeds for each plot and then hit plant all selected crops and it grows whatever you've, uh, whatever combination of seeds you've planted. And there's a nice fat looting change, which comes with this loot container stacking. So there's three changes in it. Running from combat automatically takes all your loot from the container. So that's cool. Uh, there's a shop upgrade, which we're looking at here. Uh, it costs 250,000 Slayer coins, five amulets of looting, and 75 million gold. And this allows items to stack. So instead of having, you know, arrows all over the place, they all stack into one place. And they've increased the loot container slots from 16 up to 100. So... In a nutshell, that's the patch notes. That's the quick video. There's a much longer video that's coming out later. And that will do it for this episode. Take care.